Good day everyone, my name is Jaco Wataniag. I'm Nico Carmona. I'm Chelsea Jane Campbell. I am Rafael Casim. I am Jureen Castillo. I am Julia Isidario. And we're the Group 1B of BN3A. Today we're going to present to you our research group titled Lived Experiences of Teachers Undergoing Online Instruction During This COVID-19 Pandemic. When the COVID-19 pandemic started, there was a global lockdown that caused major interruption in all areas of human lifestyle, including education. Some schools were forced to close, while others opted to stay open for the school year. So, certain protocols were implemented in order to lessen the transmission of the virus and to protect the teachers and students from the said disease. These protocols include shifting into a new mode of learning, which is online education. There were numerous studies that look into students' perspective with regard to virtual learning. So, the researchers decided to conduct a study that looked into teachers' perspective. This highlighted that teachers report job-related stress and heavy workload as the main reason for leaving the profession. But there are still a good number who stayed despite of the sudden shift of learning. In response to the problem presented, the study aimed to determine the lived experiences of teachers undergoing online instruction, the problems and challenges they face in the midst of this pandemic. This study aimed to explore the lived experiences of teachers undergoing online instruction during this COVID-19 pandemic. This study is significant for the following. Schools or universities, curriculum planners, teachers, students, and the future researchers. So for the theoretical and conceptual framework, the researchers decided to use Sister Calista Roy's adaptation model. The adaptation model is a new nursing theory that aims to explain or define the provisions of nursing science. So there are five main concepts in this theory, which are namely the environment, person, health, adaptation, and nursing. For the conceptual framework, there are three main variables which are the adaptation model, online instruction, and the lived experiences of nurse educators. Methodology starting with the research design. The primary objective of this study is the discovery of the lived experiences of teachers in online instruction in the midst of the pandemic. We used phenomenological research design employing qualitative approach. Participants are the teachers of the University of St. LaSalle, Bacolod City, specifically six clinical instructors, teaching lecture, skills lab, and the mixture of both non-probability per positive sampling is used. For the research instruments, interview questions were used for data gathering, which revolved on the experiences of online instruction by the teachers. For the data gathering procedure, the researchers sent the purpose of the study and informed consent to the participants prior to the interview, after which the interview was conducted via Zoom and recorded with the participants' permission. The responses were transcribed and used as the researchers' data. Proceeding to the results and discussion of this study, the researchers of formulated four themes with subcategories for each theme, encapsulating the lived experiences of nurse educators during this online instruction. The first theme is their reception towards the shift to online education. So for the first sub-theme, we have the fear on job loss due to these changes. For Felix, they fear that because of lack of technological literacy, they might lose their job, thus losing their economic support to their families. Second sub-theme is changes are now met with resistance. According to Dolly, anything that is new is met with resistance and it goes both ways for students and teachers. The second theme is the shift of mode of education faced with difficulties. As nurse educators transition to new mode of education, they are met with a lot of difficulties. First is the lack of feedbacks. So according to Dolly, there is absence of the actual interaction of students, less than time to conduct instruction, and of course the feedbacks which are very important to them. The second sub-theme or second sub-category is the challenges of technological literacy. There is a need to shift to online platforms to deliver instruction for students such as Zoom and Canvas. For nurse educators, they have met with a lot of difficulties and hesitations since they are more accustomed to face-to-face -face classes. According to Felix, before it was face-to-face -face and we are doing things in the whiteboard, but now they have to confine themselves with the PowerPoints presented online. Second, John said, So upon knowing that we have to learn in Canvas, my attitude became so negative. I am an old school and I belong to the old school. Theme 3, Behavioral Change of Teaching during online instruction. Due to the ongoing pandemic, teachers experience behavioral changes because of the sudden changes in their forms of teaching. First is change in attitudes and perceptions. John stated that my attitude changed right away because they told us that we won't teach in a classroom anymore. My attitude became so negative because I'm an old school. Before pandemic, every time I go to school, I have this attitude of being so positive and make a commitment to teach my students. Next is thoughts on education. Quality of education is affected. The concern here is not too much of the quality of education but rather 
how our Lasallian academic institution will be able to adapt to online learning in such a massive manner. So if Lasall can adapt to this scenario, then Lasall can go on. Activity. Adam said, it's not only us who has problems. The students also experience pressure on assignment and how to deal with connectivity. The next subcategory is learning of online tools. Felix stated that it became a little easier as we go through with trainings, so it later on became a victory for us. Knowing that I was able to learn Canvas in Zoom later on made this a wonderful experience. Now let's move on to our last theme, which is adjustment strategies and adaptation styles of nurse educators. In the study, the participants have cited different coping strategies in order to deal with stress and maintain a positive mental health. One of the sub-themes is having a positive mindset. In the interview, Al mentioned that, I quote, Right now, we must embrace the new norm. Very stressful kid, but let's not focus on it. It's how the person reacts to stress that makes him anxious. We must react positively to it, end quote. Another sub-theme is about engaging in pastime and hobby. Specifically, Adam verbalized, quote, I enjoy cooking. I enjoy being with my family. I enjoy every weekend going somewhere with my wife and my kids, and that's it. That's how you cope with stress. End quote. Last sub theme is managing time wisely. As mentioned by Dolly, quote, those are one of my strategies. Proper time management so that you don't procrastinate. Kuy kundamo kachempo, daw tamaran ka magubra, so I do time management. End quote. The massive shift of the education system has been one of the largest change that is apparent in the Philippines. Specifically for the nurse educators, the shift of the system revealed new challenges that were never encountered in the traditional setup of face-to-face -face classes, especially in nursing classes. So there were four themes that surfaced during this study. The first is the attitude of the nurse educators for the acceptance of the shift to online education. The next theme is the difficulties in the transition itself to online instruction. The third theme is the behavior changes of nurse educators as they continuously undergo online instruction. The last theme is the coping mechanisms of nurse educators in the stressful implementation of the new setup. So the outcome of this study discovered that teachers or nurse educators undergoing online instruction has both varied and similar experiences in both positive and negative ways. Now let's move on to the recommendations. For the schools and universities, they may consider the implementation of additional training programs for nurse educators with regards to conducting online classes. For the curriculum planners, they could look into the study as a means of evaluating the first year of online classes. For the teachers, they are advised to equip themselves with an ample technological knowledge for them to be able to navigate the web and the different learning management systems used in online classes. For the parents, they may understand that students and teachers face similar problems and experiences regarding online classes. For the students, they may be able to make use of the study in relation to the implementation of school projects and activities, allowing for better communication between the teachers and students in compliance of tasks. For the future researchers, they may use this study conducted as a future reference. It is recommended that they increase the sample size and even have another institution take part in their study. Thank you and have a good day!